Uh, this tree really doesn't have any um, foot traffic coming to it at this point, but I wanted to share uh, some suggestions for the future in case uh, the location does get out on this. And uh, pretty much if you ever stumble on this tree, the best place to get a photo of yourself for size and scale is the upside um, or upslope part of the trunk here. And it's kind of clear here, there's not much vegetation, so there's nothing to wear and tear. Other trees, uh, say one called Screaming Titans, for example. Screaming Titans used to have ferns that went high up the trunk. And for who knows what reason, people would go standing up on the trunk to get a picture, which doesn't make it look any bigger. Uh, I don't know if they think they're looking more cool, uh, but the tree looked worse. And uh, say if this fern gets ripped out of here, uh, that's not going to kill the tree. But someday in the future, somebody's going to want to take a photo of this tree. Uh, and it would be nice if the vegetation just remains through here uh, so that it's photogenic, where the tree wouldn't necessarily need a person for size and scale to still get a good photograph. I thought I'd get a head start in case uh, social media ever leaks out this tree if somebody finds it. Um, just to say for visitors coming here, go ahead and leave it just as nice for the next person. So as I close, I'm just going to go up to this uh, far side again. And uh, this is an accurate representation of scale is at the middle of the trunk. If I go backwards here, it exaggerates it too much uh, back in this area. Uh, the farther I go from the lens, uh, the smaller I get, and then I'm behind the tree. So basically accurate representation for size and scale is middle trunk. And that actually applies for any tree in the redwoods or giant sequoias where you might take photos. If you want to show its accurate size with the person for, uh, you know, next to it, have them go right about to the center of the trunk. Uh, so on that note, uh, I'd say happy trails and uh, hiking to you folks and uh, have a good day. Thank you. This is not the only new coast redwood found in recent history from 2010 to 2020. This is just the largest published. And um, it's fair to say, I believe I can say with 100% confidence that General Sherman is no longer the largest single stem tree in the world. Uh, it would also be proper to say that there are no sequoia in the mountain groves, that those would just be what we call Sino, S-I-N-O, sequoia name only. The only real sequoia are the coast redwoods uh, that is their genus and because the species get so large the only giant sequoia really are coast redwoods there is nothing in the mountain groves that would be a giant version of the coast genus so i have information at my website mdvaden.com mdvaden.com and if you go there uh, from the home page you could scroll down uh, and look for the Coast Redwoods link and uh, navigate um, for more information. Uh, I'm an arborist, so you'll be landing on an arborist website, but the uh, lion's share of the content is on Coast Redwoods. So anyway, I uh, hope this inspires folks uh, to visit the Coast Redwoods and also to enjoy photography and uh, leave the forest the way they found it for the next person. So uh, on that, thank you and have a good day.